Hi everyone, my name is Harshit Tandam Nati from ENHI Secure. In this session, we are going to have demonstration on custom connector in SailPoint Identity IQ. In this custom connector demo, we will follow these five steps. Developing a jar file, developing connector registry XML file, defining XHTML page, deploying jar and XHTML page, integration using custom connector. Let us look at each step in detail. Firstly, we will look into how to develop the jar file. Let us first try to understand the process of building and designing the custom connector. As discussed earlier, there are three steps included in custom connector development. Preparing a jar file, defining connector type and other details in connector registry, defining XHTML page. In order to prepare a jar file, we have to use the open connector framework provided in SailPoint in the open connector package where there are a lot of methods provided for different types of operations. The custom logic which we want to implement using this custom connector shall be developed in those specified methods. In this demo, we are designing the custom connector for Active Directory application. Firstly, we will create our root class by extending the abstract connector class in open connector package. Then we will declare all the variables which we, which we are going to use in our code. Then We can add all the supported features for this connector in the get supported features method here. And we can add all the supported object types for this connector in the connector in the get supported object types method here. This test connection method here will take the inputs from XHTML page and it will validate the connection to the source application. Here we are referencing to check test connection method in the check connection class to perform connection act, connection testing activities with Active Directory application. So the check connection class is having the check test connection method. So here we will uh, validate the test connection to the application. So this test connection method is invoked when we perform test connection operation in SailPoint Identity IQ. Now, after validating the connection parameters, we will traverse through the accounts and groups which are present in the Active Directory application. To do that, we are referencing to get account details class and calling the methods get account details and get group details. These methods will take the established connection as an input and will fetch the accounts and groups from Active Directory. These methods will return list of hash maps containing details of accounts and groups respectively. So this get account details class is having a methods get, ac get account details in which it will uh, it will validate the connection and then it will fetch the different attributes and all the accounts which are present in the Active Directory application. Similarly, get group details method will validate uh, the test connection and it will fetch the uh, groups which are present in Active Directory along, along with its attributes. So iterating through each, each map which is provided in the list, the map is pa passed as an input to create account method. And in order to create a group, this group map is passed as an input to create group method. So these create group, create account and create group methods will use the information available in the map and create creates accounts and groups resource objects respectively. So this create account uh, method is taking input of all the attributes which are passed from the hash map and it will create an account. Similarly, create group method will take the, all the inputs from a uh, group groups uh, resource object map and it will create a group in the Active Directory application. 
These methods will be invoked when we perform account aggregation and group aggregation operations in SailPoint Identity IQ. Now we will understand how to perform basic CRUD operations using this connector. Firstly, we will see the create method. This create method will be invoked when we perform new account provisioning operation in SailPoint. The native identifier and the attributes in the plan are passed as arguments to this method. Post validating the connection, here we are referencing to add account to AD method which is present in add account class. So this add account class is having add account to AD operation where it is taking all the attributes from the provisioning plan and it will contain the logic for account creation process in Act Directory application. Similarly, we will see the update method. This update method will be invoked when we perform update account op operation in SailPoint. The native identifier and the attributes in the plan are passed as arguments to this method. To post validation of the connection, here we are referencing update account in AD method, which is present in update account class to perform the update account related provisioning logic in the Active Directory application. In this update account class, we are having update account in AD method where all the provisioning plan related attributes are passed as input and accounts are updated in the Active Directory application. Next method is delete. This delete method will be invoked when we perform delete account provisioning operation in SailPoint. Sim similarly, native identifier and attributes in the plan are passed as argument to this method. Post validating the connection, here we are referencing to delete account in AD method which is present in delete account class. This delete account class is having the delete account in AD method where all the provisioning plan attributes are passed as input and this method will contain the logic for deleting account in Active Directory application. Next is enable method. This enable method will be invoked when we perform enable account provisioning operation in SailPoint. The native identifier and the attributes in the plan are passed as arguments to this method. Post validating the connection, here we are referencing to enable account in AD method which is present in enable account class. This enable account class is having the enable account in AD method which is filled which is of which is having the attributes in the plan which is which are passed as arguments to this method and this method will contain the logic for enabling the active directory account with the provided attributes next is disable method so this disable method will be invoked when we perform disable account provisioning operation in sale point the native identifier as well as the attributes in the plan are passed as input to this method. Post validating the connection, here we are referencing to disable account in AD method which is present in disable account class. So this disable account class is having disable account in AD method which is provided with active directory provisioning plan attributes and this method will have will contain the logic for disabling the account in active directory application with the provided attributes. Additionally, there are other methods which can be used to perform other provisioning related activities like unlock. Unlock method is used to perform unlock account operation in the application. Set password. This method can be used to set password to the account in the application. Authenticate. This method can be used to connect to an application with the credentials provided in the method call and attempt to authenticate to the application with that user ID and password. Discover schema. This method can be used to return the schema attributes of accounts and groups. Once the code development is completed, 
custom connector code with all the classes must be compiled and packaged into a jar file and this jar file must be placed in lib folder which is present in webinf directory in identity installation folder next we will look into developing connector registry xml file and defining shtml page and the next step is to create an xml file to merge with the connector registry this xml file contains all the details about the connector such as name type account type definitions feature strings schema attributes identity display and instance attributes provisioning policy form values for various operations for all the supporting object types etc once we import this file into identity iq it will be merged with the existing connector registry file in identity iq database allowing identity iq to create a new entry in the list of connectors and the final step is to build the xhtml page this xhtml page will be used to define ui to allow all the connection related parameters to be specified through ui for each application that uses this connector this file must be placed in applications folder which is present under defined directory under identity IQ's installation folder and this must be referenced to application definitions xml as form path entry now we will look into deploying the jar file and xhtml page in our identity iq instance as discussed earlier so the custom connector jar file must be placed in lib folder which is present under webinf directory in identity iq's installation folder Along with this, our XHTML page must, must be placed in applications folder under defined directory which is present in IntX installation directory. As well as the XML file which is containing the logic to merge with the connector registry must be imported through IntX user interface. Once placing all these files in all the respective directories, restart the application server which is hosting your SailPoint Identity IQ to apply these new changes. Once we deploy all the required files in our IQ instance, we are ready to use the custom connector. After restarting the application server by placing all the specified files at a specified location, we will try to onboard a new application by using the con configured custom connector in applications type you can see that there is a new entry which is being added in the types list of connectors so this active directory custom refers to the custom connector we have just developed once i select the connector type as my active directory custom you can see that there, there is a configuration page which has been popped up asking all the connection parameters which are required for connecting uh, to active directory application so this form is simply the xhtml page which we have just configured earlier in schema you can see that all the attributes are pre-populated with its respective fields and all the schema attributes are populated for account and group object types these are the attributes and these are the definitions which we have specified in the connector registry xml file and we have imported it to the sale point to merge with the connector registry available in the sale point so let us check the application which is being onboarded by using this custom connector as you can see application type is active directory custom which is nothing but our custom connector In connector configurations, I have placed all the required parameters in order to make connection for my Active Directory instance using this application in SailPoint. In schema, 
as discussed earlier all the schema attributes pertaining to accounts and groups are automatically populated we'll try by testing the preview and in preview you can see that iterator has re returned the accounts from the active directory instance making sure that the connection is successful similarly if i preview the groups over here iterator is able to return the groups from the active directory instance as preview is successful we will try to aggregate accounts and groups from the configured active directory application so i have launched the account aggregation and group ag aggregation pertaining to accounts and groups present in the active directory and as you can see that the aggregation task is being successful for both accounts and groups as we have successfully onboarded the application using custom connector and using that we have also successfully completed the aggregation of the application similarly we can also implement other use cases like joiner mover lever using this custom connector please subscribe to enh across various social media platforms for further updates thank you for watching the blog